Hey guys, it's Jaylon and Valerie. Hi. Hi. And we are here today to share our update for Nightmare on Panning Street. This is a fantastic ladies cloud project and it was created by the both of us. And this is the first update for this New Year's project. So we're super excited. Year two. Year two. And Crazy that we're year two. I know. It's time flies, man. And it, and we are actually recording the day before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, happy everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your turkey. Gobble, gobble. And stuffing and, and all that other good stuff. Pecan pie and pumpkin pie. Mm, sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Mashed potato. I love it all. It's my favorite mm -hmm. holiday because of the food. It's such good food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to share. I actually have a cough drop. So my apologies. I have a little bit of a scratchy throat. I'm a little worried that I'm coming down with something. So I am being preemptive and lubricating my throat <laughs> with, a, with a lozenge. So I think we both have four things to roll out well, yeah we both ended up with the same number which is awesome yeah i'm really excited to have a couple of these things out well i can't wait to hear what you have out because we did we have not shared no we haven't we haven't talked about this nope so so tell me what you got tell me what's out okay 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 so i'm happy to say that i finished the last mask that was in this Ooh, yeah. I finished my pharmacy honey potion. This is a deluxe size. It's not very big. I got maybe four masks out of this. Mm -hmm. Five, maybe. I think maybe five. So that was done. That was in for Halloween, which is either a set of sheet masks or a mask or a mask in a pot or a tube. So right. those are my dogs playing that growling. Arr, arr, arr. Ah, they're playing with each other. So anyway, I finished this. I'm so happy. At one time, I had three masks in this project, and now I have zero zilch. Zero. Nada. Nada. And you won't be pulling that prompt again because you've already pulled it once before. Correct. Right? So, so masks, are, unless you decide to pull it in for something else, but a mask in for another prompt. It's done. Done, <sighs> done, done. Yay. Okay. So that's number one. Number two was one that I pulled in last month, actually, and mm. I just barreled through this. This was in for Poltergeist, something that's a must have in your collection, something that's mm -hmm. always there. For me, that's powder and specifically loose powder. And I rolled in this deluxe size of the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Yeah. And I used it. I cannot it, believe you finished that. Yeah. There's not a lot of product in here, but the frustrating thing is that actually there is just a little bit left but there's three little holes there and you can't remove the sifter oh it's, so there's actually a, a little bit in there and i'll continue to try to get it out but it, it's very little it yeah. won't even do anything so it's it's done and uh, I, I would say just powder. put it put it in your empties bin there's no i mean you're gonna try to get that powder out of there it's gonna be hard I broke, I got a hammer to it once and I broke the whole thing. So I, I, yeah, that thing is, I don't know. They, they have it there so that you cannot get that off. It won't lift. So is anyway, it, is that, done. is that the way it is with all their powders? No, this is a newer packaging. Oh, the original packaging. You could just lift off the sifter. Yeah. 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 But no, huh. you can't do It's very, well, I, I shouldn't say you can, it's just really difficult. I broke one of these before. So anyway, this is done. I love this powder so much. I have, uh, maybe you have several, one. right? Kind several backups. Size, yeah. Mm -hmm. I but have, I, okay, wait, here's mine. I have a giant like size it. that I've never used. I think is this a regular sifter. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, that's the mineral veil. Or is that the foundation? Deluxe original mineral veil. Yeah. Oh, it nice. was like a holiday packaging. It had a anklet or bracelet or something on it. I don't know. Oh, that's cool. I lost it a long time ago. Makeup and jewelry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One stop shopping. I also finished my NYX brow pencil. Mm-hmm. This was in for Nightmare on Elm Street, a dupe for something you dream of. I always dream of the ABH Brow Wizards, which are, by the way, on sale right now with at Ulta. Oh, I didn't for, even notice. 
for the Black Friday. I'm, I might, might, might get a couple. Well, if you like, if you love it, I love it so and much. And it's yeah. it, half off. It ends up being the same price as that Nick's pencil. Mm-hmm. I did finish this though, so Yay. I'm happy about that to have another brow pencil out. Yay! Yay. I just realized I have clothes on my hamper so sorry everybody <laughs> it's either ziggy or it's clothes yeah today it's clothes i forgot to put them away and lastly my fourth empty is for the ring something you want to show the ring on and mm -hmm. i hit pan in slate oh yay you were so close last month in my lorac yay palette. that's awesome original, my old beat up pro palette <laughs> so i finally have Pan in there. And then do you have, you don't have pan in every shadow though. Not, no, like. not okay. yet. I have, this is actually in the same project, which I'll talk about later, mm -hmm. but I don't have pan in, in four of these. Oh, these okay. Four. Okay. Amazing though. It's looking really good. I'm, Those, I'm, the ones at the top, did you take the pans out? Yes. Every time you show that, I'm like, what happened here? Yeah, no, I took them out. I don't know why. I think when I first started panning, I saw someone who had like actually removed. Oh, no, I know why. Because people would say, oh, I finished an eyeshadow and they would show the pan. They would oh, take right. their pan out. And I did that. But I think the difference is that they would put them back in after they showed them. And I threw mine away. <laughs> <laughs> so then I stopped doing that. Like I finished these three mm -hmm. and I left them in there. And this yeah. one. <laughs> How it's hard was it to jimmy those pa those pans out of there? So you can see the little glue. Yeah. Yeah, they, it was tough. I got a blow, I got a blow dryer to the back of it. <laughs> that's really dumb. Penny noob. Anyway, that's where it lives. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. I'm I'm really happy with that. I want to finish it next year. I think I think I can finish it. Next I think year. you could totally finish that palette. Those are easy to pan. Yeah. Okay, so, so those, are my four. those are your four. Okay, my turn. So for the prompt Hellraiser, a facial exfoliant, I have finished my Kate Somerville exfoliate. <laughs> woo woo! This was a obviously you can tell a deluxe size sample. It's a, it was kind of dried out, so it wasn't the formula that I know and love. So I'm glad that I was able to use it up and get it out. For Frankenstein, a Franken product, I had rolled in my Elf and Mac and LA color pigment that I frankened and I had I hit pan last month by just like swatching it but I only had one use left on this so I got my 10 uses there's the shade it's really pretty I'm just been working on these like blues and greens that I've got in zodiacs <laughs> working hard on getting these colors out but that one's done then for seven an item that is still in its box packaging What's in the box? <laughs> I had pulled these out of like my bin of like new things. And these are the snail eye patches by Honey Honey. I love these. I finished these a couple of days ago. They're so good. I would, if I, next time I see them, I'm totally buying more. See, there's still serum in the bottom of this. There's a lot like, of serum in there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they were super juicy, <laughs> very hydrating. I really enjoyed the, these patches a lot. Which I, I have, I'm more. working on a on some right now. Actually, I'm, I think I may be two or three days away from finishing. Also from Honey Honey, mm -hmm. but they're like black snail. No, I don't remember what they're, but they're black. Mm. Look like a football player. <laughs> when I put them on but I know what you mean about the serum there's a lot of serum in there and they don't slide down some of these eye patches that have a lot of serum they just kind of slide down your face yeah don't they the, stay in yeah I think it was interesting the more the ones on the top didn't slide down I, towards the end the very last one or two slid down on my face if they were like loaded in serum so I just I was fine I was like pushing back up because I need all the serum I need under my eyes I need all the serum nice I can get under my them. eyes. Then when you remove them, then you can really move that serum. And, oh, it feels so good going it does. into the under eye. Nice. I love it. And then my last product is for the prompt Dracula, a product that sucks the life out of you. My Glam Glow Mask. The Youth Mud. Thir I'm sorry. 
Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. Was this the right one? No, this is a this is a sample. I have the other one, which is in the white packaging. I grabbed the wrong one, but I finished that one too. I actually finished it, I think, this month. I prefer this one. The Youth Mud I do not like. It's got all the twigs and berries and shit in there. I don't like it. Yeah, no, I don't need that. If I wanted that, I'd just go like... Face Rub some mud there. on my plate? Yeah. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it. Yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've seen a lot of those Glam Glow kits lately. Oh, yeah, they're all over TJ Maxx. All over TJ Maxx and, and Marshalls. Marshalls. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I'm not getting those anymore. I'm done. This, I'm done the, I mean, the, these, this one and the other one were the last two Glam Glow masks in my collection, so I'm done. They're done. I no longer own any. Yay! I think I own Hallelujah. One. I own the white one. The that's one the one I don't. That's the, that's the thirsty mud. With, with the I'm twist. sorry. That's the, um, the fuck is it called? The youth mud. <laughs> youth mud, yes. I think I have that. Just the like little it. one. I think that's the last one I have. Cool. Well, yay. We yay. each have four out. Yep. That's great. All right. So what's you working on? Oh, dear. Sorry. I'm not sure. There's a lot. What was that? Siri, just talking. Oh. <laughs> did you see my other video recently? I did. When you said I like that, and she said, "Oh, that's great," or something. I was she like, said, "What the?" I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, for so I'm working on eight. Mm hmm. No, no, nine. Nine. And the first one is, I rolled this in last month. This is for Jaws, a water-themed mm -hmm. product. My goal is to finish this. And I've really just started it. I mean, it's... Is it a moisturizer? It's a moisturizer. And I've been working on what was in the lid. Oh, so okay. I really haven't made a lot of progress on this. But now it's it's time for this guy. And it's the so, water bank moisturizer? The water bank moisturizer, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Hydrogel moisturizer. Oh, okay. Mm, and it's yummy. perfect for the prompt because it's a water-themed item. But my goal is to try to get some use on my full-size moisturizers. Mm -hmm. So I thought now's a good time. So this will be in for a while, but that's okay. I love the product. Oh, I love Laneige moisturizers. I, so I do good. love it so much. Something else that I rolled in last month was for Friday the 13th. This is a summer-themed product. Mm -hmm. And I rolled in my Hot Mama. From the bomb, this uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful blush. It's gorgeous. It's very pretty, yes. I have a little bit, you can't really tell. Uh, would you camera, compare it? Would you compare that? Of, oh, yeah, it's got a sheen. It's got a sheen to it, yeah. And I, I I, do have a little bit of a dip in it, but not, not, no pan for sure. So my goal is to hit use this 13 times. I've only used it once. <laughs> Lame. No. Hey, I have so many. I've kind of overextended myself with blushes and projects. I I'm not using any blushes that are currently in projects right now because I'm trying to finish two by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Everything else is on hold. Yeah. So I thought I better use this before this update. So I used it once. There you go. But I'm I'm close to goal on a couple of other blushes. So then then we'll get going on this guy. And would you compare that to Nars Orgasm? Yeah. Yeah, I think this one has a little more sheen to it, but it's and I think it's peachier. Warmer. I think a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Nars Orgasm like, is very pink. I do like the Balm face products quite mm -hmm. a lot. I'm not that keen on their eyeshadows, but I love their face products. I think the blushes and 100 percent agree. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my um, Lorac Pro again because in here for the Hills Have Eyes, the prompt is an eye product. Mm -hmm. I decided to start working on another color in here, which is Garnet. Mm. This guy. And yeah. I want to hit pan. I've used it some, not nearly enough. So this will be now a kind of a focus for the next month. I'd like to have that prompt out by the time 2023 rolls around. <laughs> I know it's crazy. It's crazy. So I haven't used it very much. I think, um, oh yeah, my I was going to say I have usage, but I don't. This is to hit, hit uh, 
and pan. Yeah, it's pretty. Pretty color. Pretty color. Pretty. Okay. Another one I rolled in last time is for us, which is a dupe. And I did some research. I'm really bad at dupe knowing Same. what dupes and all that. So I, I rolled in my Essence Lash Princess. Mm-hmm. This is supposedly a dupe for the Lancome Lashy Doll. Oh, okay. Mascara. And I'm I'm in a this is a full size mascara. I'm on a definite three month and it's out. So this will be out in January. Okay. It'll be out. I'm liking it. I'm enjoying this mascara mm-hmm. quite a lot. I can't wait to try it. I can't remember. Is it in that four pack? That color? I'm sure it is. Yeah. I think it is, yeah. I remember when they just had like one or two and now they have a whole like color array of mascaras mm-hmm. yeah this is nice it's the first one i've ever purchased mm-hmm. so um I'm, I'm happy with it i like it nice what else what else oh yes <laughs> for dracula something that sucks the life out of you mm-hmm. i rolled in this ysl lip stain To use 13 times. I've used it twice. Mm -hmm. At least you've used it twice. It's beautiful, but it's a little challenging because it, it's like, doesn't go on evenly. You have to really work at it. See, even on that, you Mm -hmm. see how it's patchy. You have to really work at it to get an even distribution. Yeah. Makes sense. But it's a beautiful look. And it smells a little funny. It smells... It smells like, I don't know, like alcohol or something. Not, no, not alcohol. It smells like paint. Hmm. Has it always smelled like that? Yeah. Hmm. The next one is for Fright Night, which is a vampire-themed item. I rolled in a Bite lipstick. This is in the color Maple. I have it on right now. Ooh, pretty. I'm making some pretty good progress with it. It's beautiful color. What, what was your, oh, God, that's pretty. What was your goal for it? I'm going to finish it. Oh, that's right. Look at you go. That's where I am. This is a mini, but there's the. It's it's pretty color. I really want to have it out this year. I want to have this guy done. So I'm going to focus on him for the next month or so. (laughs) Yay, Libby. Uh, I reapply. It's beautiful. I love it so much. Did you say it's neutral or beautiful? Beautiful. I was going to say that it's not neutral. It's not neutral. <laughs> okay, for the strangers, something that is no longer welcome in your collection. Mm-hmm. The sleeping spray. Oh, how are you doing? Okay, look at that. You're halfway there. Yeah, I really use it. You know what I do is I place it on my pillow <laughs> every morning when I make up my bed. I spray it in the morning and then I place it on my pillow. So when I go to bed, I remember to spray it again. Oh. It's the only way I can remember because if yeah. I leave it on my end table, it just it d- gets ignored. So I'm really happy. I used about twice as much as I did last month. You did, yeah. So if I use that much, you know, this will be out in January. Mm-hmm. I'd love to get it out before that. I, I, I don't like these things. I know I have several pillow mists. I need to I need to I need to do what you're doing and spray in the morning and spray at night. I never think about doing that. I, I d- well, I don't have any problems sleeping. Maybe if I had problems sleeping, going Same. to sleep, maybe I would appreciate it a little bit more. But I'm like, <clears throat> get the pillow, I'm out. Lucky. <laughs> I know you have problems with sleeping. Oh well. yes, I do. Stupid insomnia. Okay, two more. For Lost Boy, something that makes your face not look dead. I had rolled in this three pack of the Dennis Gross Universal Daily Peels. Mm-hmm. I'm still at one. <laughs> I'm still used only one. I do love this product a lot, but I'm using a lot of other products that have special. Um, what am I trying to say? Like exfoliating properties? Yeah, proper properties. That's what I was looking for. And I'm a little bit nervous to use this with those. So I'm kind of waiting to get those out and then I'll use these. Makes next sense. month, this will be an empty next month for lost Makes boys. sense. Makes sense. Yeah, I'd like to 
<clears throat> like to get that out. And lastly, another one I rolled in last month, which was for seven. What's, What's in the box? box? <laughs> was my peach and lily essence. Uh -huh. I really do love this. It's the wild dew treatment essence. Now I had been finishing, I've been working on a small Tatcha essence. So I actually just started this. Yep. See how I'm still pretty far up there. I want to use half of it. So that's my goal. I don't think it's going to be a problem because I love this and I use it twice a day. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's going to be an, an issue, but um, yeah, I just started it. And then I went on travel and I didn't take it on travel with me. So yeah, yeah. it's too, it's too big, too big. And yeah. So anyway, those are my nine that I'm mm. working on. I'm, I'm really happy with them. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, well, you're. I think you're going to have several out next month uh, out of the ones you've got. I hope so. Yeah, I don't know about so. mine, but well, there's one. Well, what are you working on for the prompt? The Omen six six six. Use six pans in a palette six times. Hmm. Oh yes. This is my hourglass ambient lighting edit unlocked palette and. Here are the shades. So I've used this one six times. I'm at three, two, one, one, zero. <laughs> so yeah, I I should hopefully be able to get these two out. I actually kind of like, I like mixing these these shades together. I think this would be a pretty, a pretty a nice bronzer to oh, mix yeah, these pretty. two. Yeah. And it's just the blushes. Like I I don't think I'm gonna be focusing on those until beginning of the year unless I finish my other blushes before then so we'll see yeah hmm. I know I'm overloaded with with uh, blushes right now in it's project. I have too many well I have a, a several that I need to work on and like I'm just not and I'm not touching them like at all I'm not touching them because I'm really close on my other two and I, I want to finish them Really, really want to finish them. For the prompt, Child's Play, something that has childlike packaging or theme, I rolled in a blush. <laughs> My Too Faced. Pop it out, Peach Blush. I actually have used this once. I'm up to six. I want to use this ten times. I used it once in the last month, and that's only because I mixed this with the other blushes that I have that I'm working on. So I kind of did a trio mix, but there's the shade there. It's really lovely. Has a good sheen to it too. Yeah, like my, exactly. Yeah, like my um, bomb one. Mm -hmm. bomb. Bomb. For the prompt, a quiet place, a product that makes you speechless. I have this eyeshadow by Davina. This is Polaris, and I want to use this ten times. I'm up to nine, so just one use to go. <laughs> I know. I'm not, I actually put it on the very outer portion of my eye today. I love that eyeshadow. That is out of control. <laughs> out of control. It's out of control. Out of control. So that one will definitely be out next month for sure. Next prompt is Jaws, a water themed item. So I rolled in a whipped soap. This is by the Bathing Garden in Charm and Ruin. And this is her aloe butter whipped soap. I love her whipped soaps. They're so good. So this is my progress. I'm about a third of the way through it. Yeah. And I use this to shave with. It's a lovely product. It smells nice. I love it. So nice. Working nice. on that. I don't think I'll have it out next month, but maybe in a couple months. Well, you're doing, you're making good <clears throat> progress on it. A third of it. That's, that's really good. Yeah. I feel like that's pretty good because you don't need very much of this yeah to shave with like it's a little bit goes a long way yeah okay the next prompt is amityville horror a product that haunts you so for me that is my hourglass confession lipsticks because some of them so many of them went bad this is in the shade if only so i want to use this 10 times i'm up to two <laughs> Woo -woo! and well i should say i'm up to three i reapplied once during this video i'm wearing it today so three. <laughs> woo. Woo, woo. Next prompt. <laughs> 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 
Next prompt is Friday the 13th, a summer themed item. So I went with a an eyeshadow in my Lorac Shine Bright palette. So it's this one. I had this in a Dude You Pay My Battleship project a couple years ago with Verity. And I rolled in the shade Nectar. And you can see that's how much is left. So I'm actually going to repress this. Mm -hmm. Because I'm having a really difficult time getting in there with my brush. So, yeah, I will repress this. This is a hot mess palette. Should I do my trick? Yes. You haven't done it in a while. Yeah, I haven't. So the trick is to clean a palette. You grab a face a wipe. This one's dirty. A little bit. And use, like, a flat surface, kind of like this. I'm actually going to use the top and wrap the wipe around your product and and then just do these if i can get this part clean that would be amazing voila voila it's mostly clean there's still some, it's like some eyeshadow that kind of clung to the bits, but that's, that's pretty good. Good. Yeah. Makes me feel so much better. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this one will be repressed and I, I'm, I, I'll have it done. Like there, there's not that much product left in there. It'll be easy. Okay, the next prompt is Annabelle, a pigmented or bold bl blush credited to Jen at Project Beauty. So I rolled in my Fenty Cream, what does she call this? Cheeks Out Cream Blush in the shade Summertime Wine. I am actually wearing this underneath my powder blush today. This is it's beautiful. This is beautiful. very bold. So the way that I use them, what I have been doing, and not that I, I still use my, I can use my finger and pat this out and then kind of blend it out with a sponge, but I've actually been dipping my sponge in the, into the pan and that's been helping a lot. So, I, so it's not super a great way to use cream blushes, especially bold ones. Yeah. Like so, your, I mean, your... I feel like it'll take longer to hit pan that way because that's a teeny tiny little pan, but. At least I'm able to use it. Yeah. All right. The next prompt is the Invisible Man, something that erases a primer, concealer, foundation, or powder. So I rolled in my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is my under eye uh, powder to set my, un what are, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so there's my progress. I actually... This is a really nice powder. I had roll. I, I actually have an Ilia powder that I'm also working on. That's actually what I'm wearing under my eyes today, which is also lovely as an under eye, like set, setting powder. But so this one has like, you know, eight or nine days where I haven't used it. But otherwise, I've been pretty much using it every day. For Fright Night, a red item or something vampire themed. So I went with a vampire. And this is my last, last product. I went with a vampire theme and I rolled in my Bite Beauty. This is the High Pigment, no, Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Glacé. I rolled this into finish and first off, I forgot to measure it in my book. So I don't have a picture to show, but I mean, I, I have not used very much of it and there's still plenty left in here. So. Oh, I love this color so much. I I love it. I miss mine. I finished it. I, I miss it. You know, I've been really um, aware. It's so beautiful mm -hmm. of the bite beauty. I think I've mentioned this several times in our videos that I'm really aware of the bite beauty and their shelf life. Yeah. Or, or lack of shelf life. And I've never had a problem with them. I check my bite products periodically just to make sure. And just maybe two or three weeks ago, I found one that had gone off. And actually, it was one of my newer ones. Mm -hmm. It was from that whole collection called The Bite Of, and they had Bite of Dallas, I think, Bite of Chicago, Bite of what? Mm -hmm. Anyway, this one was The Bite of Chicago, and it, it went off. And that was probably the, the newest one. Well, yeah, all those minis that went off on me, those were the most recent ones to my collection. Yeah. 
interesting, right? Because I have a lot of them and they're all doing fine. I've had that that trio, I think, go bad of the little minis and then one full size. And that's it. Out of like all the ones I've owned and I've and I've used a bunch of them up too. So they last. I mean, I wouldn't say the newer formula doesn't necessarily last, but the old, old formula was really lovely. Yeah. And lasted forever. I mean, this but this would, this would be a good one to dupe next time we go to the lip lab. Mm hmm. That would be a good one to dupe. I wonder if I've already duped it. This is my last mini. This maple. Oh, That's wow. My last bite mini. Not my last mini lipstick. <clears throat> my last bite. Not my last mini. No. No way. I'm just looking to see if I've already duped this color. I don't think I have. Now that would be a good one to dupe. Yeah, no, those those are the other three, and they're not close. That one's much deeper. Mm -hmm. That'll be a good one. Mm -hmm. Moving on to... Oh, that, that's right. That's all I had. <laughs> that's it. Okay. That was nine? Really? Yeah. That went one, fast. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let me tell you what I'm rolling in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Very oh, exciting. you you primed me by saying these are all exciting, fun, new products. All very so, exciting. Let's see what you got. So for Hereditary, which is one of our newer prompts, mm -hmm. this is um, something that a relative used, used to use. And I had to think about that because my mother was not really into makeup. She was very kind of just powder, eyebrow, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. was it. But my aunt hmm. was really into makeup and skincare. Okay. And I remember when I was like in junior high or even elementary school, we would go visit and I'd go to the restroom and her, her van, her kitchen sink was full of like Clinique and Lancome. And I was like completely. <laughs> <involved>. <laughs> So in honor of my aunt, I decided to roll in a new lippy. It's a Clinique lippy. Oh, okay. Yep. And this I just picked up. It was one of uh, four that came in a Christmas collection. These are all their nude nude collection. Mm -hmm. But I love the packaging. The and packaging is adorable. If I didn't yeah. own all of those shades, I would have bought it. <laughs> It's they're full sizes. I thought they were going to be minis, and mm. I guess I didn't realize that. So this is this is Love Pop. Oh, I love that color. And I'm going to put it in for 13 uses, of course. That's a great color. I think I have a. It's a little pink for right now, but I'm down for it. It's a beautiful. That's a beautiful one. I think I may have finished one because I own that one, and I think I have it in a full size. Mm. I had a mini. Yeah, I think I finished it. I'm happy to use this. I remember my aunt having so much Clinique, not just lipsticks, but just everything. It's a, I mean, great. I love that formula. It's love it. Beautiful. So 13 uses for that. That's for Hereditary in okay. honor of my Aunt Joanne. Thanks, Aunt Joanne, for Thanks, introducing Aunt Joanne. Valerie to Clinique. The Blob. Oh, okay. That's a new one, too. A putty or cream product. This is... Not new, but I've never used it. Okay. <laughs> this is a MAC paint pot in the color Bougie. Ooh. That's a good one. That's beautiful. This is, yeah. So I need to know how you plan on using that. I don't know. Okay. That's a good question. Hmm. Do you have a suggestion? Well, I would think that you would need, you would probably just want to use it on its own, not put powder on top of it. Well, no, I won't put anything on top of it. But yeah, it's got that beautiful kind of blue, shift. brown, green shift. Yep. So this is for 13 uses, of course. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Yeah, that's exciting. Two more. This is for The Exorcist, which is something that makes your head spin because it's so incredibly beautiful. Mm -hmm. and I just bought this, and I can't wait to try it. This is from REM Beauty. Oh. This is a liquid eyeshadow in the color Lab Coat. 
Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful color, and it's got this whoop, this little kind of applicator. Doe foot, yeah. If I can get a better. Yeah, it's, got, it's like a duochrome mm -hmm. pink, it's got pink a, to silver flip or something. Peach. I think it's, it's more peach. peach. Cannot wait to put this on my eye. Can't so exciting. Wait. Yay. I know. Very exciting. You've got and two last... cream eye products. Wow. Okay. I know. <laughs> I'm a rebel like a that. A rebel. You, so you said 13 times on that one? Okay. Well, you know, part of the reason that I put these in is because I'm about ready to go on Christmas break. Mm hmm Because these are not necessarily things that I would wear to school, but I can wear them when I'm off for a month from classes. Right, so right. That's really why I put them in. Lastly, for, for Christine, something that you had to, that you made a special trip to the store to buy. Oh. Buy Mars Cream Bronzer. Did you go to the store to buy that? I did. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I, I, I'm kind of cheating. I, I did go to the store, not for this, but when I saw it, I bought it at okay. the store. I yeah. went to the store just to shop, and then I saw it, and I was like, oh. Add to cart. Done. So uh, 13 uses on this. I have not used it yet, but you love this. Mm -hmm. What shade do you have? This is Laguna. Yeah, that'll be good for your skin tone. I, I've been using number one lately, but it's Laguna 2, right? But yes, Laguna okay. 2. And that's that's it right yeah. there. It's the OG. The OG, yeah. I love so, it. I yeah, cannot wait to hear what you think. Lots of beautiful products this time. I thought mm. it's time. It's time to roll in some of these things that I've been wanting to try. So. <laughs> and I just got some good prompts for those. You did. You totally yeah. did. Yeah. I'm really happy. I'm excited to use those four products. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop. All right. All right. It's my turn. Okay. So my first prompt is Pet Cemetery, a graveyard item. That's a nod to Emily and Max here on the YouTube. She has a graveyard project pan project that she created. So I'm rolling another eyeshadow from this guy. I was going to bring in a lip product, but I just, I, I can't, I can't. I have too many lip products I'm working on. So I'm going to work on finishing this one, which is a crew. I don't think that'll be a problem. I think that'll be pretty easy. And I also have this light shade crepe in here, but we're going to do a crew. We're going to get this one out first. So that will be two empty pans in there, right? You don't have an empty pan yet. Mm -mm. But I'm going to start picking away at this palette. Mm -hmm. Slowly but That's surely. That's what I've been doing with my Lorac Pro, just kind of slowly rolling things in and finishing them and hitting pan. I mean, yeah, I have pan and all these from my DG Pan, my ballast ship, except for, like, I will never finish this. And I more than likely will not finish the silver. But I do have pan and silver from, or ice, it's, just, it's called icicle. Mm -hmm. I have pan in there because I frankened it. So who's to say I wouldn't franken this? I don't know. Yeah. You never know. Anyway, I want to finish that shade. Okay. Next prompt is Candyman, a product with such a long name that it takes you five times to say it. <laughs> Credited to Jen at Project Beauty. I freaking love that one. That's a great or one. a candy related product with packaging name, scent, etc., which is credited to Pilo? 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 How do you think you say that? P I L O? I think it's Pilo. Pilo Sadio. And so I decided to bring in, I kind of looked at my spreadsheet and I was like, what has a really long name? This is what I ended up coming up with. You know, that's that was. <laughs> I struggle with makeup items because everything that had a long name, I was already using something similar and it was mm. going to take me a while to get to. So I went with this guy, our ah. favorite Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex Serum. It's ridiculous, isn't <laughs> this it? This is, yeah. This is a 20 milliliter bottle. So it's not a full size, but it's close. So yeah, I want to finish that. 
I have so many of those. So I'm happy to work on it. And let's see. The next prompt is Lost Boys. Something that makes your face look not dead. So I rolled in a bronzer that I'm I'm just going to get 10 uses on this. This is Benefit Hula. And I rolled this in because I really want to work on this. I have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer that I have in a project to finish. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Mini that I have in a project to finish. And then once those are done, this is like the next one that I want to finish. So I just want to get some consistent, you know, here and there use on it to, you know, to get some wear so that it's, you know, I have a big pan, but I would like to expand this because this is a giant pan. It is. It's huge. Product. Are Are you close to finishing either of those? Do you think uh, the other two, do you think you'll finish either of them this year? Mm, If... If, if, if anything, it would be the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, but I don't think I'm close enough to finishing it. I think that I, I think I'll be done with it in, I'm thinking January. By end of January, I'll have it done. Yeah. That's my thought. So you could potentially have three bronzers out next year. If you get that Physician's Formula and then the Chocolate Soleil and then this one. I'd be surprised if I could finish this, but because this is a lighter bronzer and... Mm-hmm. I can't use it. I mean, I would say it's probably not something that I can use when I'm at my fairest. But we'll see. I have done. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. Because I'm currently be using that Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And that one's a, a lighter bronzer and it's working. Yeah. The last prompt is Rosemary's Baby, a new item in your collection. So because I've got so many makeup items I'm working on, I decided to roll in this. This is a tree head sugar scrub in frosted cranberry. Oh my God, this smells so good. And I need to know if I love it, The you know, like long term, because I may buy more. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. Nice. Mm-hmm. I love those scrubs. I love them. I do too. And I, I was going to roll in like, because I have a ton of freaking cream blushes that I rolled in, that I bought, I should say that I bought. But I have like four that I'm working on. So I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. There were so many cream br- bronze uh, blushes that came out this year for Christmas. The Merit Trio, the LYS. Um, Milk Makeup. Milk Makeup makeup there were so many Fenty had a, that duo I mean there were so many mm-hmm. the Patrick Ta palette had cream blushes in it yeah yeah it's crazy so anyway I, I, I would have normally brought in a makeup item but I'm trying to like make things realistic that I can f- roll out of this project in a decent amount of time and I know like, I just started another sugar scrub but it's a scentsy one and it doesn't take me as long to finish because that's like eight ounces maybe it's 12 and this is 18 Mm -hmm. so i may be able to have this as an empty by the next update we'll see but definitely this one polaris Mm -hmm. will be done and what else nectar the laroc eyeshadow I may even have both of them done depending on, because I pretty much use them every single day. And that may be it, unless I can get my three additional uses on the Fenty. Mm-hmm. I think you can do that. Yeah, I think so. You but I think the that. rest of it is going to stay in here. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I'll, I'll have those Dennis Gross. Yep, uh, you will. Mm-hmm. I'll have those two out. I'll probably have pan in the Lorac shadow next mm-hmm. time. And I'm going to try really hard to finish this guy. I don't know. I'm going to try really hard. Yeah, I think I can. I think you can. Got to work at it, really. Yeah, I mean, you got to pretty much wear it like every single day. And that might be it. Yeah. So, like that, four. Maybe the blush. I might be able to get my uses on this blush. In. You have how many? One. I have I have one. I've used it once, so I've got 12 more. <laughs> okay. But there are 30 days. Uh, there are. Before we film again. So yeah. I should probably get 12 uses in there. Good. Do it. I'm going to do it. Do it. I'm going to try. <clears throat> That's it. Yay. Well. 
Well, yeah, I think we're good to go for this update. Yeah. Um, we will be back next month as usual. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and Valerie and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. So I have the physician for physician's formula bond bronzer that I, I cannot speak. Wow. That. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay, bye.